Welcome back, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Quest for Glory. When last we left off, we had just finished uh, putzing around Spielberg Castle. And, of course, if as long as we stand here, the swordsman will not move. He stuck there. Until we move. Forever. Staring off into the distance. In existential dread. Moving on. Let us go back over here so that we can actually, you know move and uh, change his you know what he does as soon as we you know move to the wrong spot there he is continuing to show off his amazing moves he is really a decent swordsman but unfortunately he cannot teach us due to our lifestyle choices but that is neither here nor there now I know there was a few things that I missed last time before uh yeah, back in the uh, town where it came to stealing things. But, personally, I... Now, like I said before, I've never done a thief playthrough of this. I'm so used to uh, just spamming strength and magic that uh, those things are kind of new to me. So, I know that throwing plays a lot. That plays a lot in this game and in this game series. There's a lot of puzzles that can be solved by throwing copious amounts of things at the wall and seeing what sticks, or bounces, or gets pushed by excessively throwing rocks. Let's go back over here. Let's go up there. So, this is going to be kind of a uh, throwing montage. We gotta do a montage! Yeet, yeet, yeet. Yeet. Must hit the bull in the face. Must hit the bull in the face. Must hit the bull in the face. Keep hitting the bull in the face. I can't help but feel that that is a very awkward way to throw rocks. I mean, he's kind of like chucking it like a discus. So at least that's the impression I've always gotten. Yeet, 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 yeet. Must throw all the rocks. Throw harder. Throw faster. Continue to throw. Throw all the things. And let's see. Our throwing went up to 28. I forgot exactly where it was last time. Throwing. Throw all the things. Continue to throw all the things. Continue to throw. Now I'm just reminded, you know, as I'm looking at Garen doing this, he looks like he's kind of dancing with himself. He's like, I'm just going to dance in place, spin round. You are no longer overloaded. That's a load off your mind. Wait, I was overloaded? Impressive. I apparently was carrying an absolutely metric ton load of uh, rocks there. Let's see. Oh, wow. Keep throwing all the things. Max out the throwing. Max out all the throwing. You know, I wonder if I can actually, you know, if I can actually roll the... Oh, nope. I appear to have run out of rocks. And how much did I get left with? Eh, 45. Or 46, rather. Let's see. Can we pick those? The fruits on this tree have withered and swarming with hornets. You think it is better not to pick them up. You think better of not picking them. Of not picking them? Of picking them. Keep it together, Ronan. You're flubbing your words. No need to do that. All right. How much stamina do I have right now? I have, well, 20 of 24 health. My stamina. Okay, yeah. We've got plenty. So, let's see. How much silver do I have? Because there's a spell I need to pick up that'll make a lot of things a little easier. And that's not what I need to click. Actually, no, that, no, that still wasn't what I needed to click. Oh, okay. I have five gold and 18 silver. So, we've, we've got a little bit. So, let's see if we can go to Zarya's.
Yeah, and there's Bruno. Hello, Bruno. We're just going to walk past you. Going into Zarya's. And that bombastic music plays. You return to my shop. Ask of me what you will, but keep to the point. Well, I personally... Your money is no good there. There we go. Lame is 60. As you read this... Yep, I have enough. Cool. Alright, so we now have... Flame dart. Or fire bolt, as... Depending on how you wish to uh, put it. Now we have an attack spell. In case, you know, we run, we decide to go out and hunt goblins. Like we are about to, because why not? Hello, centaur. The centaur stops raking as you approach. Hey! I like how, like, that face just turns and looks at you regardless of where you are, and she's just like, Hal, how are you? I'm here, I'm friendly. <laughs> Please don't hurt me like those other people did. And there's the, uh, circle of, uh, silliness. There's the meeps. That's not where we need to be. Let's go this way instead. Up there. Oh, no. Shank, 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 shank. Quickly, Garen, kill them. Kill them with all your might. There's nothing to do there, okay? This poor sob was the big loser of the poker game. Didn't even have lunch money. And four silver tucked in his tunic. He has no use for the silver anymore, so you pocket them. All right, so there's that. Let's see, how well did that improve my actual my actual magic? Eh, fair bit. Although it, I ended up hurting myself a lot in that combat. So let us go and uh, continue to... That is not the direction I wanted to go. Go up there, Garen. Come on. Quit being dumb. Don't be a doof. Wrong place. Did you get me a glowing gem? Give it to me. I mean, please give it to me. No, not yet. Fine, be that way. That's because I'm not ready yet. Don't mind me. Come on, let's go this way. Meeps again. Keep going this way, quickly. Now, where the hell did that grove go? Oh, well, there's that one. Hello, dear. Um, just don't find me. Don't find me. The Antwerp. Hello. We will leave you alone, as we learned our lesson from last time. We will not fight the Antwerp. Rocket Vapor. I don't know why I said that, but why not? You have a bad feeling about this place. You have an even worse feeling about this place. I'm just gonna turn around. I did not mean to go that direction. I forgot about I forgot that, that was there. 
What? Fucking shield work. Holy crap. Yeah. Screw you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I did. You're so exhausted, everything you do hurts. Time to run. Escape! Running around. <laughs> At Sonico speeds. Alright. Well, that... That was bad. That was not the direction I wanted to go. Let's go this way. That is also not the way I wanted to go. If I recall correctly, the grove that I found initially wasn't exactly Irana's Peace. It was, um, the Dryad's Grove. Which reminds me, I do need to, in fact, go back there. That is not... Did you get me, glowing gem? Give it to me! I mean, please give it to me. No, fine, be that way. Have to keep repeating this dialogue anyway. <laughs> because, you know, you're der your derp who freaking comes in here every time looking for the other place. Nah. Nah. Moving on. Let's go up. Let's go. Blarg. Run away! <laughs> There's these things, which are related to the... No, 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 no! No, 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 stop. Go that... Oh, bugger. Run away! Escape! Here's Irana's piece. The meadow um, lies covered in blankets of flower, unusual for this early in spring. It is warm, even though the surrounding area is um, is surrounded by um, late snow of winter. A large carved stone lies flat on the ground. You feel as though someone gently watched, uh, gently was watched, watching over you. You feel like you are safe here. The air has a fresh, clean scent of the mountains accompanied by numerous perfume-like fragrances. The sweet, juicy fruit from the tree is amazingly satisfying and refreshing. If I recall, that is... Well, that helps with the food si and that helps with the food situation and, and all the same. Let's rest for 60 minutes. I feel better, which... Let us rest some more. How much more do we need? We need to heal. So let's uh, quaff down a healing potion. You, the drink soothes as it goes down. How much did that heal? Now, nah, close enough that it made no odds, and we have full magic. All right. So there is that. I'm going to save before anything bad happens. But yeah, now I found Irana's piece. Let's read that. The large stone um, appears to be ancient and deliberately mar placed. Marks carved into the stone are almost look like writing. Probably because that is writing. Let's go this way. No, that way. Oh! Ogre! Wait. Wait a minute. If I recall... If I recall correctly, there's something I need to do in that cave. I'm gonna save again before we rush in. Go in! Quickly! Bypass the ogre! No, 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 no. Leave me alone. 
Hello, Burke. As your lies adjust uh, from sunlight to darkness, you examine the interior of this eerie cavern. You sense something moving off to your right. Uh, I don't think I have to sense it so much as look at it. And I just realized I don't have any food. Well, bugger. Let's see if we can get... Let's see, can I sneak past him? Nope. Too late. Realty world. Too late, you remember. Bear claws aren't on your diet. Uh, uh, bear claws weren't on your diet. Hmm. Weird. I completely botched that. Restore. Okay, well, having figured that, I figured out that we don't have any rations, I'm gonna go and uh, change that. Because there's probably a few other things I need to um, use rations for anyway. Keep going. There's a white pixel there. You can never... That's a Saurus. Stab. Stab. So I started stabbing. Come on. Come on. Go away. Killed it. You search your opponent. What a waste. No treasure. You'd think skinning something like that would probably be useful to, say, the blacksmith. But I guess not. Guess, uh, sources aren't, you know, worthwhile in the, uh, skinning economy. Giant, you know, lizards. Even if they weren't dragons in nature, you could still probably get some decent, um, armor out of it. Oh, well. That's me applying real-world logic to the situation, I suppose. Now, there was another thing I needed to pick up from her, specifically. That happened to do with that giant. Let's, uh, buy some apples. You carefully select ten of the best apples from the barrel, and you pay her a silver piece. Hit the set. And another set. I'm probably going overkill on the apples, but I think, if I recall correctly, they double as rations. But then again, I could also be very wrong. So, let's go in here and actually get some rations. Oh, I'm sorry! I didn't notice you come in! Yes, I bet you did. <clears throat> you fez we um, wearing weirdo. Now he's staring at me in existential dread. Here you go, thank you for your patronage. As you count your money, you realize you don't have enough to purchase that particular item. Yes, because I spend all of it on apples. Alright, so now that I have that, I'm going to save real quick. Just do not lose all my progress. And see if we can um, wait. After 60 minutes of rest, what time is it? Sunset approaches on day three. I can't believe it's only been three days since we entered Spielberg Valley. And of course, Zarya's eyeball continues to stare at me. Stop eyeballing me. Let's see, can we wait 60 minutes? You are too impatient to rest. Oh yeah, the, the gate has um, closed. And she's now gone for the day. Ah, uh, there we are. Okay, let's uh, get into sneaking fashion. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. This place seems sinister at night. Some strange object is glowing at the other end of the alley. Ooh, shiny. Hello. That corn light spell gets them every time. See that dagger? The next one is in the center of your back. Give Sneak there your cash and walk out of here. It's a simple trade. Your life or your money. Or, I show you this. Lo! I mean, that's the first victim we've had in Munson as a thief. Tell Crusher that the password is, uh, Schwerterfisch. 
He's in the tavern. Now go before we bef and make the sign and make you pay anyway. Let's leave. That was close. Let's go in here. We should probably get out of the sneaking pose because we don't need to be. Schwerterfisk. Schwerterfisk. And lo, we are in the basement. This dark, seedy place is less than what you expected for Thieves Guild. You feel uneasy, sent, uh, uneasy about the sinister mood here. The man seated by the table greets you with a scowl. Crusher is his usual amiable self, and you can't quite make out the lur what lurks behind the massive door. Beginners! Why do they keep giving me beginners? I tell you, Crusher, that a thief of my stature and ability should be stuck in a put uh, be stuck in a podunk town uh, besieged by brigands who are, aren't even union members is the height of injustice <laughs> as he sits there and continues to monologue i will pay you 25 silver to work in town just pay boris at the gate it it will cost you 25 silver if you don't have the cash go steal some Wow. From his expensive clothes um, to his uh, carefully trimmed mustache, you get the air of sophistication about this villain. Crusher is my personal manager. The opening in the door has a wire grate on it, but there is a space below in which I, I uh, objects can be passed through. The mysterious-looking man on the other side is Boris, the cashier and fence for the guild. Oh... A Thieves Guild license will cost you 25 silver. You will need a license to use any of our services. I don't have time to talk to unlicensed scum. Pay your guild license fee, and then we can talk. Why don't you go and do something constructive like stealing um, Otto's yo-yo? Now, I don't recall if you can actually steal Otto's yo-yo. But, I guess there's no harm in uh, making an effort. So, let us sneak and save, because now we're on the track of something. Let's go this way. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Let's go over here and break into this place. Picking lock looks like a lot easier than the instructions. Picking locks. <gasps> no! <laughs> uh, placement is everything, and I just picked my own nose. And killed myself. I feel smart. Okay. There's no door within reach. That's fine. Let's go over here so that we don't accidentally pick our own nose. Which is a sentence I didn't think I'd ever be saying. Oh, God damn it! Come on. The owner seemed to have been made nervous by the house burglaries. The door is barred from the inside. But you do get some value. Ah, uh... bugger. It would appear that we only had one chance to actually break in here. Meaning, we can't actually utilize anything else that we left in there. Let it be known that Garen is not exactly a smart thief. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go out this way. Because, you know... There's nothing to do there. The wall is too smooth to climb with your skill level. But keep practicing. Keep going. Ha-ha! 
We have now made it outside at night. Let us go this way. Now, I've been recently informed by a good friend of mine that you probably shouldn't steal from the healer. However, I'm willing to see what happens if I if you do if I do so. Because, you know, I'm nothing if not an idiot. Your locking spit skill will do you no good here. It is barred from the inside. Oh. Well, bollocks to me then. Guess I will not be stealing from her. Moving on. Wait. No. Let's see if we can get into the castle from here. There's nothing to do here. Ha ha! We can, in fact, climb over the castle walls. Let's see. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. And the sinister music starts playing. We are in a place we should not be. It does not work. It does not work. Okay. Let's see. Can we get in here? There is no answer when you enter your knocks. The guards must all be asleep. Why would we be knocking? Why can't we open that? Can we go up here, though? Can't do much with that. I wonder, can we sneak into the guards' pal- I mean, into the, uh, palace? The door is securely locked and barred from the inside. Nope, not much we can do there. Let's keep going this way. We found the horse! Can we steal the horse? They aren't for sale. Um, I wasn't planning on, you know, get- I wasn't planning on buying it. I was planning on stealing it. But apparently I cannot do that. Not much I can do here, so let's go this way. After making sure no guards are looking, you climb over the wall. Continue to climb. Uh, after climbing down, while well, you say to yourself, self, you, you say, that wasn't too bad. As I fall flat on my face. Well done. Well done. Okay, um, I'm going to save before I do anything silly. Or continue to do anything silly. There is no centaur, as it is night time. We probably should not- Oh, that's a thing! Run away, or sneak away, shuffle away, continue to shuffle away. These things are silent at night. Keep going this way. Continue this way. Continue that way. I think we just went in a loop. Oh, there was a goblin. Quickly. Aha. And that's not where we needed to go. Okay, I don't think we need to skulk around so much. Especially considering... Oh! Pack it! I don't know what that is. I forget what that is. But all I know is, is it does not look friendly. Let us walk. We don't need to sneak. We're outside in the in the wilderness. Wunderba. Oh! Bugger. Okay. Why am I so exhausted? Run! You fool! Run! Run! Tag it! Find your honest piece quickly. Thank you. Your hunger is satisfied. You don't need another piece of fruit. That's fine. Let us uh, sleep, sleep all night. Because we can actually do so here and not be hurt. You sleep comfortably among the fragrant flowers. You wake, you awaken as the sun begins to rise. Huzzah! We somehow survived. And when we come back, folks, I'm going to go into that cave and uh, see what I can do in there. Until then, folks, I will catch you next time. Later.